everybody welcome back to an edition of the ecostructure machine expert hbac i'm your host leandro mal and in this video what we're gonna see is how we can configure the mod bus port that we have on the controller so let's go to the software so this video will be focused only on the modicon 172 and it doesn't matter if it's performance or it's the optimized unless it has display or it doesn't have okay so what i'm going to do is to create a project so it's going to be PRG for Modbus. I'm going to select this one. Now, there is something very important that we need to know is that we have two Modbus ports. Okay, we have RS45-1 and RS45-2. As you can see here, the RS45-1 is just a slave. Okay. And the RS45 can be a slave or master. So if you want to be a master in the network, remember that in Modbus Syrian only just one master. Just need to select this. Then you should be able to see that we have these parameters. Okay. So it's important to match this configuration to the configuration that you have in your slaves. So we also have this. Okay. But that will be for another video so now that we have this it's also important to know that um let me see if there is here the picture so do we have the rs45 um this is going to be the slave here if i'm not wrong okay and the other one that is a master over here so you need to be careful when you put this okay so you have the plus minus and then the ground plus minus and ground okay so that we depend on how the other device is connected if it's a plus a minus d1 d0 but um, you prefer need to check on the hardware configuration of the other device also what it is um so this is focus only on the configuration then we can go into details of how to connect to different devices now on the BIOS parameter here we have the configuration for the port so here we have the RS452 which is the master okay for slave and then below that you have the RS45 which is a plug-in car okay that is next to the M172 and the left side um, but the one for the slave is here okay don't ask me why they are two separate don't know but we just need to know that here is where we configure the things so the address I don't know it's going to be one and here you have other things to configure the protocol Backnet serial, but in this case, Modbus 8, 1, even, and let's say 19200. Okay, this is going to be the serial one. If you go over here, this is the slave. Okay, so we have to configure only the slave in this case. Now, in order to configure the master, this is the configuration over here. Okay. 8 even 1 but I usually put that also here the address is not going to affect because it's a master doesn't need and I just put the things here so we know on the other side that this is the configuration okay so as soon as you have configured this in order then for the controller to have this program of this configuration is not enough by download okay because we need a specific file in order to have this configuration done and send to the controller so for that we just need this download o okay so once we are connected with the controller we should be able to make this download all okay so the other thing if you have the ethernet plc i would recommend to to connect and configure the, the ports in case you are not going to use it just remember by security you just need to disable but in my case i'm going to enable everything okay 
1.72, the port gateway. So in this case, you have everything on your application, and this will be the initial parameters to be sent to the controller. Okay, so this is the configuration of the mod bus for the M172. What we're going to do later, okay, is to use the function blocks so we can read and write to a server or a slave in the mod bus serial communication. So this is the initial part that is good for you to know where it's located. Okay, if you're using later, we have the possibility to use the IO scanner okay using devices okay and then once you add the device then you assign the mod bus functionality that you use or if you're going to the programming you should be able to see all the different two, two, two blocks here to here in order to use the mod bus serial okay but this video is only focused on the configuration then i would make a quick um review also of oh, the same in the next video but uh, this is just like an overview of how to configure the things okay so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one